Hi everyone, Snipe Trading here. Today is March 30th, Tuesday, and I'll be going over my recap for today. So today, uh, mostly on the short side, uh, going over mostly the inverted cup and handle, which is my short play, and looking for that extension to, to create a wide cup, and then a handle to risk off of, and then showing the cup line for that, the profit taking. So I mostly did that today because uh, there's been a shift in market condition and on the long side, the long setups aren't working as well as I wanted to. So most of these plays are on the short side. So let's get started. Um, if you haven't done so, uh, hit the subscribe button and like button to support the channel if you find these videos useful and to make sure you are on track and up to date on my trading so the first trade here is bwen for 193 win so bwen so this was an end of day kind of uh, extension on the one minute time frame you can see the one minute 90 ma is here so i look for a short cup to form right above that and a handle and shorting for that 90 ma break as well the cup and handle break and usually the profit taking is around the next 90 ma which is the five minute 90 ma which is the red line here so you can see i showed it there on this break and cover pretty much everything on that 90 ma so that was a quick uh, 193 dollar win it trailed back down to the also the 15 minute ma but typically we would see like a bounce on the 90 ma and then maybe another cup and handle forming for the 15 minute test um but that's w b w e n for 193 dollar win um next trade is btbt so btbt also similar chart uh this time it had a 15 minute trend so you can see it's bouncing off this 15 minute trend it broke the 15 minute trend went to retest and then there was a few like illiquid um values there so i went ahead and looked for a short off that break and i pretty much just covered the rest there uh, but it ended up trailing back down to the 15 minute chart which was a good trail good trail there but uh took it off for 124 dollar win and i saw that it was kind of breaking this trend right here so it took me out so that's 124 dollar win there on btbt Another Bitcoin play was CAN. Um, so this I saw also, you know, potential and very cup and handle here for the break. Um, and then I was looking for a trend line cup and handle for the five minute break. I ended up taking a break there. And then since it hasn't tested the five minute trend, I just took it off on the five minute trend. Eventually it popped up, did a little push and a wash towards the 15 minute trend. Uh, but that was $106 on CAN. Uh, next trade was Express EXPR. So this was a $90 win. Um, it had a little pop here. Uh, I think it was probably in, in sympathy of uh, GameStop and AMC. And I was trying to look for a trend break plus an inverted cup and handle too short. So I kind of saw this little pop here and had a little uh, handle. So I went ahead and short that and I covered the rest pretty much on that five minute nine MA and you can see that it bounced right off that. So that was a $90 win, a uh, quick little win there on EXPR. Next trade is MNPR. So MNPR also um, a little pop here due to either news or something, but definitely extended and was going to play for a correction so there's an inverted cup and handle short that and cover when it is testing the five minute trend and ended up testing support here as resistance and went back down lower um 86 dollar win for mnpr uh, next trade is x so this was also another short play um also extended and you can see same same thing so you can so you can see i'm always trading the same patterns over and over again uh short that and cover on the five minute it bounced off and it went lower back lower 
Um, so that was, that was X for a $37 win. Uh, next trade is RAAS. So I tried this um, one time here. You can see that it was extended, little cup, little handle, short. Uh, you can see there was a little wick there that broke the hand cup. And because um, from my experience, anytime that it breaks and just recover in that one minute chart, Jury, it's a, a bad sign and it's bullish. So I just went ahead and covered uh, for a small loss there, twenty for twenty dollar loss, and you can see it went ramp back up. So uh, gotta be wary of those uh, fake outs and just from experience, I've been burned a few times. So um, so next trade is PFMT. Uh, PFMT was actually a long play. Um, I went ahead and you can see there's this flag here forming. Uh, resistance became support and it became support again here. So I went ahead and buy this flag break right here. You can see the few candles up there uh, fell to hold. So I went ahead and look for it to maybe form a bigger flag, a wider flag since it was holding the support. So I've had my stop at 225 there. So when it had a pop up here and pretty much fell back down, I stopped 225, just right on that support level. And it just faded all the way back down to 190s, 170s. So um, if you have a plan, make sure you stick with it. And you know, it's important to take your stop. So I'm a profitable chair because I take my stops a lot uh, and not to be stubborn. If you have a plan, you had a support level, if it breaks, take it off. So that was a small loss, $35. If I didn't take it off, you know, it would have been, you know, down 3x, 4x that. So that is uh, PFMT. Uh, next trade is AMC. So AMC um, also was extended and was trying to see. So you got double top here. You got lower highs forming, and then I was looking for a trend break. So I went ahead and looked for a short there. You can see it's still in very cup and handle. And I thought I was going to go and test the five minute chart or the hourly. Uh, I ended up uh, having a holding up just a little bit and it got me stopped out. Um, but a couple minutes later, it ended up moving down. So that's AMC for a $38 loss there. Um, next trade is CSCW. So CSCW um, tried a couple times here. Look at the daily chart, and the daily chart looks horrendous. So my expectation is that this will probably be an all day fader back to the 140s, 150s level, uh, maybe tomorrow. Um, so I went ahead and try to look for another opportunity to see if there's a kind of bear flag for me for the next leg down. So I went ahead, uh, since this right here again, tight and tighter and tighter, uh, look for inverted cup and handle. So that was inverted cup and handle, went ahead and short, held the level and popped back up, stopped out right there, you know, stop out is good and took a $30 loss right there um, and also I uh, had a, another because I was really biased on this to be a short I went ahead a short again and then popped right back up so I stopped out again for another $30 loss so eventually uh, just a few moments later uh, you got your next leg move down there so as you know Keep your bias open. Um, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. So I eventually just kind of took it off my screen, but a few moments later there, it went through. Um, next trade was RUN. So RUN, uh, I think I sized in a little bit too much for this and it was a bit spready. Um, but again, there was an inverted cup and handle here for me. It broke momentarily there and you know what I say, if it wakes like this, it's pretty uh, bullish move. So I went ahead and stopped out. And because I had a thousand shares, it ramped up pretty strongly. So took a bigger loss here, uh, $63, but not as bad relative to my winnings today. So um, overall, up a total of $421 for today. Uh, not a bad start day for a slow day um, but yeah there is definitely a shift in the market and got to be very careful on the long side um, there was another stock called VTSI I think this one was really manipulative and if you see stocks like this that has a lot of wicks and wash wicks up 
uh, I would avoid this. So I totally just avoid this stock uh, altogether. I didn't trade it. I tried to uh, find a spot here, but you can see every wix is met with a sell. So it's either algos trading or kind of big wells manipulating the market. So all right, the best thing to do is just not to trade this and avoid. Um, but yeah, this could be an account breaker for people uh, trying to revenge trade or kind of trade within this choppy range. So I would just avoid altogether. Uh, but all in all, uh, decent wins for today, $421. Um, so if you enjoy this content, be sure to hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.